unraveling the mystery like a moth to yarn. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore an interesting and slightly puzzling phrase, like a moth to yarn. This expression is a twist on the more commonly known, like a moth to a flame. And it's packed with imagery and meaning that can enrich your understanding of the English language. So, let's dive in and unravel the mystery behind this phrase. Like a moth to yarn is a simile, a figure of speech that compares two different things to highlight some form of similarity between them. At first glance, the phrase evokes the image of a moth being irresistibly drawn to yarn, much like the well-known attraction moths have to light or a flame. However, there's a twist here. Moths are not particularly attracted to yarn as they are to light. This phrase might be a playful or mistaken variation of, like a moth to a flame, or it could suggest a scenario in crafting or knitting where moths are a concern due to their attraction to natural fibers. The essence of the phrase, whether used accurately or as a mix-up, is to illustrate a strong, often innate, attraction to something, be it positive, negative, or neutral. Imagery plays a crucial role in this phrase. The comparison to moths invokes a sense of something being naturally, perhaps even uncontrollably, drawn to an object or situation. It's important to note that moths are usually seen as harmless creatures, but their attraction can sometimes lead to their downfall, especially in the context of a flame. In the case of yarn, the imagery might suggest comfort, warmth, and the joys of crafting, contrasting with the peril implied in the traditional moth to a flame. This makes the phrase somewhat quirky and intriguing, offering a softer, perhaps more positive connotation. The phrase, like a moth to yarn, can be used metaphorically to describe a person's strong attraction or inclination towards something. It could be a hobby, a person, a job, or anything else that draws someone in with a powerful, sometimes unexplainable pull. For example, ever since she discovered painting, she's been like a moth to yarn, spending every free moment in front of the canvas. Here, it highlights a positive and passionate engagement with something that brings joy. Like a moth to yarn, while not as commonly used as its flame-centric counterpart, serves as a fascinating example of how language and expressions evolve and take on new meanings. It reminds us of the beauty and diversity of the English language and the importance of context in understanding and using idioms and phrases. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing phrase and added a new dimension to your English language learning journey. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the stories, images, and emotions they evoke. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.